No, I need to wake up. I need to wake up. I need to wake up. No. <sighs> I'm so tired. So tired. <laughs> everyone I am so tired I did not sleep a lot last night my fault but um, it's currently nine o'clock in the morning and we have a day cut out for ourselves I have two classes today they're both two hours long and then I have an internship interview at two and then I have another one tomorrow and I also have to do some job assignments for work. I thought might as well record a day in the life of a college student today because I feel like I have a little bit more going on. And typically I just have class and work and that's just me literally sitting in front of my computer in the dining room or living room. So I thought might as well record today with a little bit more activities in my life. Um, and yeah, so I'm probably gonna head downstairs and meditate for 10 to 15 minutes. Usually when it comes to interviews, I try not to get too in my head and I try not to get too nervous. I try to think about it as, you know, all I can really do is offer my work experience, my skills, and you know, show them what I can offer to the company or the club or whatever I'm interviewing for. And so if it's a perfect match, then it is. And if it's not, then it's not meant to be. So I try not to get too nervous. But just like everyone, I'm a human being and nerves are nerves and they are a very normal thing. So usually I like to meditate and listen to positive affirmations for like 10 to 15 minutes and I feel like that really helps me get into more of a clear and calm mindset and just helps me get my day started off right. So we're gonna go do that and then make some breakfast and then head to class. So that's pretty much it. Let's get our day started guys. So just finished doing my bed. I don't know if you guys can see my vision board. I hanged it right above my bed. So like every morning when I wake up, I usually sit in front of it and just like read it, look at it, set my intentions for the day, um, ask myself what I can do to just get myself one step closer to one of those things on my board. So yeah, it looks so cute. Look at it, so cute. Um, and so yeah, finished doing my bed. Now I'm gonna go brush my teeth, wash my face, head down for meditation, eat some breakfast, and then head to class. Okay, let's go do that. Okay guys, so now I'm going to do my 10, 15 minute meditation. Like I said, helps me just get into a calmer and just clear mindset. So I'm gonna do that. I really enjoy one off of YouTube. It's called 10 Minute Morning Guided Meditation for Positive Energy. It's this one right here. I don't know if it'll focus. Will it, will it focus? Hopefully it does. And if not, I'll leave the link down below. Um, I really like that one. You can try that one if you like. Uh, you can look at other ones. I just like this one personally. It just really helps. So I'm going to do that for 10 minutes and then I'm going to whip something up for breakfast because I'm really hungry. So let's meditate. I really need it. <laughs> I really need this. Alrighty guys, so we're in the kitchen now. Um, I have class soon, so I'm just gonna whip something up really quickly. Usually I have either cereal, I'm a big fan of cereal as you can see from the top of my fridge. I have like all my cereals there. Or I either have oatmeal or just like avocado with egg and you know, bread. And you know, just like an avocado egg sandwich. Or usually just an egg sandwich, just like a plain old egg sandwich. So that's usually what I have for breakfast. And Chico's barking outside because he's just a little booger. Anyway, so I'm probably going to be doing an egg sandwich today. I'm kind of in the mood for it. And probably a chai latte because, you know, I need the extra energy. I need to treat myself this morning. So yeah, that's on the menu for breakfast. Egg sandwich with a chai latte. Yes, I'm really hungry. Let's get to it. Oh. 
Why did they put the bread so far up? Ugh. <laughs> I hate being short. I'm terrible at cooking. I hate when my hands get dirty. Like, if I get my hands dirty, I constantly have to be washing my hands. I just hate the feeling when your hands are just like dirty and oily or just like, ugh, I hate it, I hate it. No, the egg broke. It all ends up in the same place anyways. This is literally chef's kiss. Love putting this on my egg or anything, literally anything. I like my eggs just a little crispy on the outside. That's my favorite. And then when the yolk is runny, I know. For some people, egg is just not their thing. It's not their thing. And I totally respect that. I get that. I feel like for me, I like eggs in phases. Like I feel like there's a phase in my life where I just really don't want to eat it at all. And then other times I'm totally into it. I feel like just right now I'm in that phase where I'm just eating it constantly. So yeah. So when making my chai latte, I usually typically use almond milk, but today I don't. I just have normal milk, so I'm just going to use what I got. I usually like to use my Tazo chai latte mix. This is so good. This is literally what they use in Starbucks for the chai latte. Literally, this is what they use. It tastes exactly the same, so just a little hack, just telling you. Get this if you really like chai lattes. This is, this is a lifesaver. Lifesaver. I swear it tastes exactly like Starbucks so good mm. oh I love it I love it <laughs> okay I'm gonna go eat now have any of you created a uh, 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 an ad it's some kind of a can advertising campaign on a social media platform anybody use Facebook to do that yeah I've done it for Facebook and Instagram yeah, I mean, it's not difficult, is it? No, it's not. It's really easy. It's very simple. Like, anybody can do it. What do you want your target audience to be? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so I'm doing my first voice recording. Uh, I'm super excited. I just wanted to hop on here and say, for some of you who don't know, I go to Berkeley College of Music and I'm majoring in music business and management. And I'm actually graduating next semester, which is crazy, so surreal. But also if you're confused, I'm straightening my hair because I just need to get it straight. It's all frizzy and just like, ugh. And my teacher's super chill, so I don't have to have my camera on. Multitasking at its finest, guys. Alrighty, so I just finished my class. Um, it's literally five minutes till my interview. I'm super excited. Excited. I feel really good about it. Um, so I did my hair as you can see I straightened it very quickly It's not perfect and then I did my makeup quickly as well um, And yeah, I'll show you the whole fit when I'm done my interview I just don't want to get distracted and then be late to it So I'm gonna do the interview wish me good luck and I'll be back. Hey guys So I just finished my interview and it went super well I'm I, I feel so good about it and super excited and hopefully I'll be able to hear good news from them in a few days um, but yeah, anyways, I have class in five minutes. That's pretty much it. But other than that, today I have to work on my work assignments for my job. I have to finish that. And I also have to um, finish this vlog, editing it. And then I have to uh, cook dinner. I'm going to make chili con carne today. I'm not sure if I'm going to show you guys because I'm no chef by any means. And I'm not even sure that on camera it's going to look aesthetically pleasing and then um what else i'm probably gonna try to chill for an hour maybe not even an hour because honestly i don't think i have an hour to chill um probably 30 minutes i try to give myself at least some time to just relax that's pretty much it that's my day so i'm not sure how much more i will vlog because i do have to finish vlogging this so that i can start editing it as soon as possible so um, yeah, I'll probably show you guys me joining my class. I don't even know if I'm gonna show you guys what I look like when I'm doing my job because I'm literally just on my laptop and just staring at my screen. 
so uh, we'll see how far this will go and then interview prep same thing I'm just having a laptop that's why sometimes I'm like a little bit worried about showing you a day in life because especially with it being all remote it's just all in one place it's not like I'm moving from campus to campus meeting new people or meeting my friends or going out for lunch with friends um, it really has kind of changed that dynamic of a day in the life and yeah so I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far anyways I actually have to join class like literally right now okay bye Okay, fine. You guys can join me on my journey of cooking chili con carne today. Again, I'm no chef whatsoever, so this might be a disaster and the pressure's on because if I fail, <laughs> I'm gonna get roasted. So yeah, you know, I feel kind of bad because today's kind of been just like, it's been a hectic day for me, but I feel like on camera, it, it's gonna translate as boring because I'm just on a computer pretty much the whole entire day. That's literally why I had to get these because my eyes are destroyed by staring at a computer all day. I got some mouths to feed. Um, so yeah, let's get cooking. Let's get cooking, go look it. <laughs> Guys, now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> So I had my interview today. Obviously, you know, when I'm just having class, I'm usually just more in casual wear. But you know, I just wanted to wear kind of more of a, you know, a little more fancy top. But you know, they only see this part of your body. So I kept my tights, but now that I'm looking at my outfit, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> I look crazy. But that's the life of a college student. You know, we're, we're, we're being real here, you know? We're being real. <laughs> so while I'm cooking, guess what I'm gonna do? Multitask and do my work assignment. <laughs> We're always on the move, people. Got my laptop here and I'm gonna get to my job assignment and get that done and out of the way. So then all I really have to do is edit this vlog and then interview prep. And then I'm going to go to bed early. And that's it. And we're just gonna get it done. Like we always do. I just added taco seasoning to the ground turkey cause that's just gonna bring it to a whole nother level, my people. So I'm just adding that in and mixing that into the mix. Actually, you know what, I think I'm gonna add the beans first and then the tomato sauce and then um, add in the rice. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy meal, actually. Pretty easy meal. Uh, gotta grab the beans, though. We're gonna be using the Unico haricot. No, <laughs> not haricots. That's how you say it in French. Haricot rouge. No, uh, it's the red kidney beans. Haricot. So, we've added the beans. Now we're gonna add the tomato sauce and let that cook for about 15 minutes and then add the rice. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We also have little taco shells, so um, it can be like a little taco party as well. So. Okay, so my chili con carne has been cooking for at least a good 20, 25 minutes with the tomato sauce. And there it is cooking. It actually smells really good. Um, so I'm gonna add the rice in and then we should be set. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to add the rice because then the rice is going to become too soggy. So that's it. That's actually it. Chili con carne. The rice is in the cooking pot right there. So you just serve your rice and then put the chili con carne on top. You're done. That's it. It was really quick, guys. Actually, you know, I didn't do too bad. I think I'm going to end it off here, guys, because it's been a long day and honestly, the rest the rest of the things that I have to do is not so amusing as I said, it's just me on my computer getting things done. That's it, a day in the life of a college student who's studying virtually. Um, it's crazy how things have changed, how school has changed, just how everything has changed, but you know what? 
we're out here we are getting it done no matter what so thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to eat soon i'm starving please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already we are a small but growing family and i love you all to all of my 67 subscribers i love you thank you so much for liking the video commenting on the video you guys are the best um so yeah sending you lots of love and light natalie Mwah.